Suckle my cock. Yep. It's good that you do. Nothing like some holiday music and a leaf blower for the holidays. I don't even know if y'all can hear the leaf blower. Um, I can hear the leaf blower. Oh, we, we definitely can. Hold on. Let's. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know if the mics will pick so, it up, though. So, someone someone outside the Super Megaplex has decided right now is the best time to use their leaf blower. So yeah. Uh, welcome to the, the S- special holiday special holiday Christmas, edition. Christmas Hanukkah yeah. Kwanzaa episode of Super Mega Cast. I guess you can call Which it. Which usually just means the thumbnail is pretty festive and the conversations remain just as degrading and, and vile and yeah. Yeah, disgusting. There will be talk about Ryan's poop. There will be there will be lots of dick jokes. Um, yeah. So welcome guys. I hope everyone's been having a delightful holiday season so far. Uh, I, I believe only one more week until until the big old Christmas day comes. Uh, isn't that so exciting? It is. I'm excited to just go home and visit friends and family. Um, so yeah. Have you started Christmas shopping yet? I need to, dude. I, I have not begun. I don't know how I'm going to, like, I got to do it, like, tonight if I'm going to get anything. Because I'm guessing I'm just going to have to get my check luggage, like, get a check bag and just check that in with all the gifts inside for people at home. God, shit. But I only have to focus on people at home, so that's you know, dad, mom, stepmom, stepdad, you all don't my have to friends. Step parents. No, I say all my friends, but it's really I'm only visiting. I think Gray and Hayden. So you, 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 Ryan, you don't what? have to get step parents gifts. Which I could. I could what are they do, do disown you. <laughs> True. What are they you gonna know? do? But uh, I've got no gifts for nobody yet. No gifts for nobody. I think. Yeah, I haven't bought any Christmas gifts for I've just been, for been any so motherfucker out there. Mega. All we've been doing is working on Super Mega. Like well, we're gonna continue. The other day. Well, we still got more to do. We got days of work. We've been there's been a day where we were in the office till two a.m. Yesterday we were in the office till around eight uh, so. yeah eight or so, and we were out filming and shit. So <laughs> <coughs> oh jeez, oh, oh Jesus <coughs> Christ, dude! It's a lot of dust. Maybe I need out. the. Maybe I need to hold up. Uh, drink some water. A lot of dust coming out when you cough. That's not, is that dust? What kind of? It's just some kind of powdery, powdery substance. I know, but uh, do, is I that, don't know what it is. Did it's, that just start? Is that it new? Could be a Christmas miracle. It could be some snow. Some Ooh. snow in California. Ooh. That is a Christmas miracle. I'll tell you what. But uh, you know what I did before uh, getting to work today? I went to Walgreens. Walgreens. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we have a little update, don't we? Yeah, a little update. Well, today's the di- well, not today that you're listening to it, but today we're recording it is my big day of clean cleansing. Yes. So basically, if you guys have been following the saga of Ryan's colon up to this point, today is the day of cleansing because as of recording this, tomorrow is the day of Ryan's big colonoscopy. Yep. Which, which means you're gonna you're gonna get me there on time, right? I'm, I am gonna get you there on time. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna be there in the room. I'm gonna hold your hand while they when they put the tube in and everything. And uh, I'm gonna bring my own my own bag to to take a little souvenir home. But today I had to buy uh, two ten ounce bottles of uh, fuck, what was it magnesium called? magnesium citrate, citrate or citrate citrate. I Some, guess citrate something like that. I don't know how you. But magnesium citrate uh, and. Uh, today at six, I have, I'm going to make myself a big, like 24 to 36 ounce pitcher of, uh, ginger ale mixed with 10 ounces of, uh, magnesium citrate. And I got to drink that within like an hour, an hour and a half, like all of it. I just have to down just gotta it. just got to chug it. And then guess what I get to do tomorrow? I get to wake up bright and early at 6 a.m. and, and do another 10 ounces. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. So it's really, it's really. I'm like not going to be sleeping much. I'm going to be pretty time. miserable tomorrow. Oh, you're probably not going to sleep much tonight because. The reason they give you this stuff before a colonoscopy, for those who are unaware, is it it cleans you out. It yeah. gets it, it it cleans you out to the point where you're shitting water. I just hope that I can stay awake because I'm a, I'm really excited for uncut gems, and I really hope like this just doesn't obliterate just my ability to stay awake or stay lucid. Oh man, I really hope so. The doctor called uh, yesterday and was just like. Oh uh, hey, I'm just making sure that uh that uh we're still uh on. I'm like uh it's a wait, date. yeah. Uh, I mean, is there any reason for us not to be on? He's like, well, uh, how are things going? How are you feeling? Well, I'm like, well, there, um, my stools are still somewhat mucusy. My 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 poop schedule is now returned to like a normal poop schedule, which is like anywhere from two to four times a day. Okay, I guess that's not too normal, but, no, but still, no, that's that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. That's me. I'd say around three to four, actually. Some people, but, do, like, some people, we know someone, and, and she told us that 
she would some sometimes she'll go like five six days without shitting, and I, I was like, that's not normal. It's not normal. It's not normal at all. How do you how do you eat? I guess you, you like, like it, it's got to it's got to things go in, things go out. It's, yeah, it's a regulated system. The 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 tides go in, the tides go out. I can't explain that. <laughs> you can't explain that, can you? Um, yeah, actually, we can with, with it. it's it's it's, it's not God. Important. And I'm very excited to take you to your colonoscopy. But basically, that's the update for this week's podcast is that – and next week's podcast. We'll have an update uh, on my health. Well, that will be the post-colonoscopy update. So guys- I love how it's like if it's really fu- – it's not going to be awful news because it's it's just going to – Want to knock on wood? Well, it, I guess either way it could be bad news because if I had – uh, Crohn's disease or colitis. If if hopefully it would just be uh, acute colitis, because oh, if I have any other cute. if I have any other form of colitis, it is uh, a chronic uh, illness. You know, but, you know the only way to get rid of chronic illnesses. Smoke weed. Smoking chronic. Yeah, dude. You know? Smoke a little chronic. But the uh, doctor ordered. I, I think it'd be. Uh, it's definitely going to be very the end of year kind of year in review podcast. You will get the. The official news on uh, what's up with Ryan's colon. I know, and that might be the end of the saga. That might be the thrilling final part in the in the saga of Ryan's colon, or maybe <clears throat> just the beginning. Who knows? True. Hopefully, hopefully it's the end, though. Yeah, but um, uh, I know that that conversation's not too festive for all y'all uh, y'all super meg heads out there. Uh, but uh, le- I don't know. I mean, I okay. The, the Tucker brothers aren't going home for Christmas. They're not going to see family and shit, right? No, their family's coming out here. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh. I yeah. Wish my, well, I can't ask my all of my parents to do that. I, I, I would, Are you even going home? Are you are you going to South Carolina? I am not. I'm going to you know. You you know where I'm going. Yeah. I'm I'm going I'm going with a with a palm tree sway. I think it's very brave of you to go to basic training right before the holidays. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm nervous, but I it, I have to serve my country. But like the well the good news is well, there's good and bad news. Bad news is that you may be sent off to a distant country for recruiting and stuff like that. The good news is if if you don't make it through basic, then you just are stuck with super mega some more, which I mean recording let's play seems like the way to go in terms of keeping your mental health just well, right no, as rain. No, I yes. Are you saying if if you failed basic training, like if you just didn't go through with it, you'd still sneak to another country to fight our wars? Of course I would. <laughs> Imagine like you and I, you and I go to basic training and we I'm flunk. Like, These guys suck. <laughs> not cut out for but this. We want to fight, so you and I take like take a trip to Afghanistan and we just like try to buy guns on the black market. I feel like in Afghanistan, you, you don't need to buy a gun on the black. I feel like you can just buy a gun. Okay, just... let's let's see. That should be a new like uh, BuzzFeed video. Just how easy is it to buy a gun in Afghanistan? Gun control in Afghanistan. Afghanistan needs gun control. That's a cool country name. Afghanistan. It I flows wish I'm... off the tongue. Yeah, same with uh, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. There's so many stands, dude. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Uh, Turk. There's one that's like no one knows, but it's like some ridiculously weird. Pakistan. Pakistan. Uh, all the stands are good. I stand stands. I, I stand all the stand countries. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Um, but no, I'm going to. Uh, it's been a year, a year in planning ever since last Christmas. Uh, you know, my mom uh, and my sister. Uh, want want I want to do something nice with them because we don't get to see each other that often. So, me and my mom, my sister, and my brother in law are going to be spending uh, the holidays. Uh, on on in the great state of Hawaii. Ooh, and I've never been to Hawaii. It's my first time. My mom's never been. My sister's never been. Very very excited to go. I've never been. I know. I I, I can't wait. I've always wanted to go. So, uh, last year we found some very cheap uh flight deals and booked it up, and we were like, next Christmas, let's let's spend it on the island. So we're going to Hawaii. I'm very very excited for that. Uh, please, uh, I'm going to Maui. So if you guys have any recommendations, okay, to uh, to 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 wow me in Maui, so I can I can go wowie. <laughs> oh, wowie in Maui. Um, but the the first few days I'm going, I'm just going by myself before my family gets there, just to kind of decompress from the year, and uh, you know, have a little alone time. But I haven't booked a hotel or anything yet, which is. I thought I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just. Well, get people a- in Hawaii apparently are super nice, like the locals. So you can probably just stay at one of their little places. Any, uh, any listeners in Maui want to want to give me somewhere to stay? The answer uh, is yes, but the but the truth is, you, there's no way you are staying with a fan. Uh, Hawaii. Uh, how do you know, Ryan? I'm gonna. I'm no, gonna, I'm, I'm making that a rule. I'm gonna go stay with as many fans as I can in Hawaii. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go house jumping. You know what? Sometimes I'm bored of sleeping in my own bed in my own house. Are there any fans out there where I can just bring my sleeping bag over and I can just sleep in bed, sleep sleeping. where I can b- bring my sleeping bag over and I can just you know roll up right in the living room next to a fireplace? Or you know it doesn't have to be a fireplace. If you live in an apartment complex, I'd I'd love to just sleep in the tub, How? like Kyle X Y. Oh, okay. That's a really old show reference. He didn't have a belly button. That's what I remember from that show. Yep. How many, how many, I wonder how long you could get away with being homeless, but just stay with fans. In the comments, but I'm kidding. Um, yeah, put your address in the comments. <laughs> we might drop by this Christmas season, uh, spend a couple nights, hang out. How come you and I never do like a meet and greet at the Santa Monica Bubba Gumps? Because the thought has never once crossed. <laughs> like, you know, you know how YouTubers do all those like meet and greets and shit with yeah, fans. Meet me at this park. Meet me at this park, so I can see how many people love me. You know that type of shit. Yeah, we should do like a ten minute meet and greet at like Bubba Gums. And- meet and greets are just little confidence boosters for YouTubers, There's right? A little ego boost, I think. Because like, the, like, I mean, the last minute ones, right? Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, uh, like oh, I have a friend in town. Well, oh yeah, let's do it. Watch this. Watch this. Watch yeah. how many people are gonna show up for me. <laughs> Pizza party. <laughs> Woo! We should do that. We should. I have an idea. Let. <laughs> Can we do a meet and greet where we tweet like our location, but we just get two guys <laughs> who look similar to us just to be there? <laughs> it's like, hey, it's uh, we're Matt and Ryan from Super Mega, and just see how many people show up and meet with the uh, the imposters. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, we should start tweeting out like Jackson's location <laughs> from the account and be like, hey guys, Jackson meet and greet, and he has no idea. So no, it should be like up. we should cr- make Jackson a uh, little Snapchat, and you know how they have that feature where you can like show your location, like where you are, like the geotag shit. Not just the geotags, but there's an actual like show my location. Like where I am, we should just send him around Los Angeles. Like first person to find Jackson gets gets a free subscription to YouTube Red. Yeah, I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna go on like everyone I know that that ha- has a following that also has Snapchat. I'm gonna go and like, but hey, can I hold your phone real quick to get someone's number? And then go and turn their location to public without telling them. So everyone will just start seeing where like like Aaron will be like, oh okay, there's Aaron's exact location. Oh, there's Ryan's exact location. <laughs> Dude, when that feature came out, I was quick to check and make sure like oh i didn't know it was a f- mine was on for quite some time well i, I think it i think it's uh it's off only. by default yeah isn't well it? i think it's on for friends or mm-hmm. mine was at least i must maybe i turned it on without thinking about it but okay then i realized i was like okay people my friends on snapchat can literally see exactly where i am like at any given moment like to to a to a very like like to the specific block well google's also had that for the longest time yeah um I, I mean, our location is always being tracked. Isn't there a thing like where it's like a Santa tracker? Like it's 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 made for for parents to like pull By up NORAD, and show yeah. their kids. Where NORAD it's like, did it? See, it's a NORAD. NORAD. It's the uh, what's it's, that? It's the uh, it's like an official government uh, satellite program that's used for like tracking airspace shit and uh-huh. like defense and everything. But they they d- decided to set up a Santa tracker. So every year when I was younger, I would track Santa. Uh, I remember every single year I get so excited on Christmas Eve. I right, I wake up, I put it on, I'd be like, "Oh, he's in, he's in Pakistan." <laughs> uh, Wait, and, does Santa go to Pakistan? Santa goes to every child in the world. No, he doesn't right? go to every child in the world. He goes to the children that celebrate Christmas. Well, he he goes to Pakistan. Who's celebrating Christmas in Pakistan? I guarantee there are at least over one million people in Pakistan celebrating. Christmas. Not over one million people okay, celebrating you know Christmas people, okay. in Pakistan. What is the population of Pakistan? Let's see. 212 million. I at still least. don't think even a million. How many Christians are in Pakistan? Let's see what the... Here's what I found. Christianity in Pakistan. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, it's a 96% Muslim country. Uh, okay, 3.9 million uh, Christians as but, of 2018, which means that... How many of those Christians celebrate Christmas? How many Christians don't celebrate Christmas? If you're a Christian, you celebrate Christmas. You know, that's like a given. Even if you're atheist, you celebrate Christmas. I know. They stole it from us. I mean, you and I still celebrate Christmas, and you and I aren't Christians. Because it's not. Yes, at the root of it, I guess the holiday is about the birth of Christ, but it became such a commercialized thing that it's like everyone can take part. Well, even more than just the commercialized thing, I think it's just a nice holiday where it's just, hey, it, 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 it's just nice to... Sorry, I heard the phone ring and it distracted ringing. me. But uh, get but it, Jackson. Regardless, I think it's a nice time for like it. Kind of forces you to kind of come together and say, "Oh, I got to go visit my family for the holidays." If you didn't have for the holidays in in that period, then it'd just be like another time where you just don't give yourself the excuse to see family and friends that you normally wouldn't. Are all these holidays on like the same 
time of the month, same time of the year, just because it's like, ah, you know, they're doing it. Let's 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 have our holiday thing too. <laughs> so you know, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, it's all around the same time. <coughs> I don't know why. Uh, did was was Kwanzaa just like? How come we don't have our own little Christmas holiday? I, Kwanzaa goes back ages. Does it? I think not. Bef- not before. Um, does it go before Judaism and Christianity though? When did Kwanzaa start? I'm just asking. Kwanzaa started on Wednesday, December 26th. 2018. Okay, so, so it just started Kwanzaa, last Kwanzaa year. Started last year. <laughs> when was when was uh? I, when, when the, well, I want to know the origins of Kwanzaa. I don't know orange, much about Kwanzaa. Origins. The origins of Kwanzaa. <laughs> oh, it's a week. I didn't know Kwanzaa was a week long. Kwanzaa is a week long annual celebration held in the United States and other nations of the African diaspora in the Americas to honor African heritage and African American culture. See, it's Americas. It wasn't se- oh, it wasn't wow. like an African thing. Like I don't think it's a, like an African holiday. It's it's celebrated in Americas so they can link to their culture more. I right? did not. When did it start? Okay, American Black Power activist and secular humanist Maulana Karenga created Kwanzaa in 1966 as a specifically African American holiday. Oh, okay. So it's literally from the 60s. Well, you and I should start a whites-only holiday. Yeah, how about that? If they can have one, so can we. <laughs> what about whites Come on. whites <laughs> Why no white Kwanzaa? <laughs> Those people out there that are gen- genuinely like, why don't, why don't we have like, our own Even though they don't care, it's, it's simply the fact that they aren't like able to celebrate it. But, it's, but the that's reason, the only reason they want the reason to celebrate Kwanzaa it. the reason Kwanzaa was started was so... You know, th- th- this group of people could have their own holiday. It's honestly probably because, like, a lot of, like, like black people at the time weren't invited to Christmas parties, you I know? know? I know. So it's like, if we're not going to have a celebration, we'll fucking make our own. Celebrate we won't invite you. How about that, Whitey? Yeah, that, I've never been invited to a Kwanzaa party. We actually watched a video yesterday on, a like, a Kwanzaa uh, celebration thing. We did. Where, basically, you want to do it real quick? Wait, we got to reach you up. You reach up, and you have to say times. Harambe. Ready? Yeah. I'm not Ready? kidding. It's good. You have to say Harambe. You got to bring it to your chest. You got to grab it. Yep. And then on the seventh time, you go, Harambe. And then you hold the A, and start, you start clapping. Yeah. And the last person <clears throat> to continue saying it wins. It's yeah. like good luck or something. You want to do it real quick? Are we allowed to? I, I mean, I don't see why. Okay, yeah. Let's it, do it. A, let's do a, it. Ready? A, okay, it's ready. Harambe. Harambe, 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 Harambe. <laughs> Matt wins. Matt wins Kwanzaa. Congratulations, Thank Matt. Thank you. I just won. I, I won all of Kwanzaa. Um, <laughs> we actually just did a, a legitimate Kwanzaa tradition. We did. We learned it from a YouTube video. And I, and the reason I think that uh, we were trying to was the Harambe aspect because you know top meme of the decade. Yes, Harambe. That I that that was a, I think that was actually a turning point in internet memes was Harambe because it, I think that was the first event um, that people watched in real time on the internet happen. That was tragic. You know, an animal was shot and killed, like a like a, a peaceful gorilla that was simply acting on its uh, instinct uh, was shot and killed, and it became a joke to the entire internet. Well, you remember there was the big debate, like, is it the gorilla's fault or is it the mommy's fault or is it the zoo's fault? Who's at fault with Harambe's uh, un- untimely demise? How did the kid get into the... I, I'm not. I'm not calling the mom a bad mom because I don't know the exact circumstances. The mom wasn't looking, and then the if kid I, fell if in. If I was at the zoo with my kid, I don't know how it would go from me having my kid with me to the kid ending up in the gorilla enclosure. It's like one of those moments, like in a movie or something, where like a car is parked on a hill. They get out, and all of a sudden they're talking to their friend. Then all of a sudden their friend's eyes go wide. They turn around, and their car's halfway down the hill, rolling. They're like, "Oh no!" That's the moment she had. Except it was her kid who fell into a, a gorilla enclosure. exhibit. Yeah. Well, because the thing is, you know, usually. I imagine I'd probably pay a little more attention to my kid than my car after I park it. Oh, if it's a nice car, though. It's a nice car, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, Some cars look better than some of y'all's kids out there. That's all I'm saying. That's absolutely true. Uh, You know, a lot of my friends from high school have started having kids. We're getting to that age now. I'm I'm seeing several of my friends because they, you know, South Carolina, the Christians, they marry young. They pop them out pretty young, too. Mm -hmm. Um, There's, like— Some of them have some ugly kids, I will say that. uh, There's, like— I know several people who have a kid. Uh, one, I'm actually the uh, one couple I'm still actually in contact with, but I like I, I met them out here. 
Um, but I knew them before they had the kid, and before they the, and kid. before they got married. I completely forgot they had a kid. Taylor and Vinny. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Taylor and Vinny. Well, I haven't seen them in ages. I know. Uh, long time friends of ours. Well, ever since they got a kid, like we barely saw each other to begin with because they live kind of a, they live a bit away. But uh, ever since uh, that that little rascal came into the world, it's, oh, yeah. it's been a little. Everyone I know that's had a kid, they have a kid, they drop off the face of the earth because it it becomes the biggest responsibility ever. But I like visiting them every now and then. It's nice because uh, I get I get to see I get to see their little bundle of joy grow, and I, it scares me because whenever I see her, she's like getting bigger and bigger each time because they keep feeding her too much. I'm kidding, but just in terms of maturity, uh, <laughs> so like it scares me where it's like one day I'm gonna be conscious and I'm gonna be looking at like a, a like a 26 year old person and I'm gonna be like 50 or 60 something. Yeah, that's weird. Or I'm gonna be like 40, 50 something. Danny and Brian could have said the same thing about us. Well, Danny's old as fuck. Danny is is an elderly man. If <laughs> I'm um, kidding, Danny. 40's the new 20. It is. 40, 40's the new 10, Danny. <laughs> um, but basically, I, 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 I'm seeing more people having kids, and that's weird. Like, it's not – well, it's, it, it's normal. It's not weird. I can't it, picture myself being a father. I think you and I are – because of the, the paths we chose and ended up as Let's Players, I think it's very – Our maturity easy. is stunted. Which yeah, we, we, we feel a lot younger than we really are because – Think about Which makes this. us more obnoxious in group settings with mature people who have jobs, right? Absolutely, because the thing is, people our age right now, you know, they're out of college for mm -hmm. more than a year at this point. Yeah, multiple years. They're out. They've graduated college. I would have. I would already you usually graduate be, at twenty one. I don't. So. I, I would actually be coming up on two years out of college. I'm four years out of college essentially. Yeah. So uh, that's weird although spot. technically I'm. I think I dropped out when I was nineteen. That's when I dropped out. So I've been I've been out of college for six years essentially. And I've been out for four, four, <laughs> five, five years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Because you dropped out just a year after I did. Yeah, I dropped out right after. Because uh, I dropped out in twenty fifteen. You dropped out in twenty sixteen. No, I dropped out in twenty fifteen. Mm. When in twenty fifteen? Wait, wait, wait. Let me think about this. I no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I dropped out in twenty fourteen. I dropped out in 2015. Cause then uh, I moved to LA February of 2015. Yeah, and you actually moved on my birthday. February, February 5th. 5th. Yeah. See, I, I I tried to say it first because I did forget your birthday day. I I remember the month, just not the day. Sometimes. You. What's my star sign? Cancer. The crab. Really. Cancer? <laughs> Ryan, you live in LA and you don't know jack shit about astrology. Fuck that shit, dude. I don't. It's like astrology like was always that thing of just like I'd, I. I always looked at it as like what? What, what is this? This is. I think we should do a astrology. This is, makes video. no sense. I don't get it. We should do our birth charts in astrology. Video, like <laughs> compare them because there's that website. Uh, I think it's called CoStar where you just put your info in, like the date you were born, the mm -hmm. time, and like the location, um, and it will just give you your entire. I was almost born uh, June thirteenth. I was born at like two something a.m. in the morning, I think. Or hold on, let me call my mom and get that exact. I don't want to get it wrong. I was seven something at night, I think. My mom was in labor for like twelve hours with me. So wait, depending on like, if my mom was in L.A., I would have been born June thirteenth, technically, because you go by the yeah time yeah zone yeah. So in part of the country, it was June. 13th. Well, in L.A., I'm oh. <laughs> hey, mom, how are you? We're recording the podcast, and I had a quick question for you. Okay. Um. What's up? Uh, so what, what was the exact time I was born June 14th, the morning of one thirty nine a.m. So I just made June 14th. I, I was almost a June 13th baby. Correct. Okay. Almost. But okay. you weren't born on a Friday. You were born on a Tuesday, I believe. Born on a Tuesday. I believe it was a Tuesday. Why would you? Well, Friday and Tuesday aren't close. How would, how would that get it mixed? How would that be mixed up? Well, I'm just saying, you know, usually when people say the 13th, they always think of Friday the 13th. Yeah, but that doesn't happen. Yeah, which is tomorrow, actually. Yeah, I'm right? having my colonoscopy on Friday the 13th. Isn't I that know. exciting? I know, but that may be a good sign. I don't see how, but yeah, I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, Mom. normally Friday the 13th the is a very lucky going. day. Well, I don't start the prep until 6 p.m. Are you excited I, for oh, anesthesia cool. on and Friday the 13th? <laughs> I am. Nothing could go wrong there. And then, uh, I, Mom, get this. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. and do another dosing of it um Ugh. so that's gonna well, be fun make, make sure you follow all so, the instructions so what was the time again because my mom knows one, it. exactly 139 a.m 139 a.m my mom doesn't know mine Correct. <laughs> oh hey wait so you were born 139 a.m june 14 1994 
the OJ car chase was June 17th, 1990. That's exactly because crazy. because my you were still in the were you still recovering in the hospital? Yes, we yep. were there for wide. a while because you had um, jaundice. Yep. So Dad and I were mm-hmm. watching the uh, OJ like a... chase on TV. What did I have when I had to be hooked up to that machine uh, when I was like a little like toddler? I guess. Uh, oh, when you I had croup. Croup. What are these? I've never heard jaundice, croup. These couldn't like I have died from croup? Names. No, no. You had jaundice when you were born. What's jaundice? What is jaundice? Yeah, jaundice, yeah, gangrene. It's like you, yeah. It's like, it's like when your your skin is yellow. Okay. Oh, that's and right. So that's they right. had to they had to put you under the Billy Rubin light. What's what's, what's Billy the Billy Rubin, Rubin light? under the Billy Diamond light? No, you could not have died. And so well, what is croup? So what is croup? Wait, you were born as a Simpsons croup character. Croup is a cough. It's this really. So why was um, I hooked up to a giant machine in the hospital? Was it like an iron lung? Oh, you're talking about when you were sick and, and you ran away from the nurse. Yeah, and I hid in the arcade, but the machine was oh, attached to no, me, so I couldn't really hide. That was, you, that was when you were sick. That's when you had a really serious infection, um, a sinus infection that turned into, I think it's called cellulitis. Ooh, okay. And, you've, you've had medical history. Was, I do. I have. It was, um, it was going up into your brain. and so. <laughs> yep. If what? You didn't, yeah, if you didn't catch it. I would have been a I would have been a bye bye. Right, right. Yeah. It's very serious stuff. <sighs> okay. Wow. Well, well, I'm I'm old now, and the worst thing that could possibly happen uh, is is death, and I don't plan on dying anytime soon, mother. Well, I hope um, not. Not a, not you know I'll wait I'll 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 wait about hopefully like seventy sixty more years. Do I get the, do I get the Patreon money if you well, pass? Do I get the full? I, I won't last Technically. that long, but I'm what? sure it'll last Mom. at least another 30 or 40. Mom, you got you got a lot of years left in you. In fact, I have a feeling we'll both be elderly uh, in the same home swapping stories of, of the good old days. <laughs> that might, well, that would be kind of fun, actually. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll both be just out of our minds and, and won't be able to understand really what's going on, but... Yeah, but anyways, I just wanted to get the exact time that I was born, uh, because okay, honey. because you're such a loving mother and you memorize that. I am. I get. I'm gonna call my mom in a yeah. second. And I bet she won't. Actually, know it. Matt, uh, we're gonna hang up. Or I'm gonna say goodbye now, mom. I love you, uh, and we're gonna see if uh, Matt's mom knows the exact time he was born. Okay, baby. Okay. Love you. Love Actually, you, mom. Bye. 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 Uh, my dad sent me this journal entry that was like Matthew Watson was born February sixth, blah blah, and I was he's like, look at this, isn't this sweet? And I'm looking back, I was like. February 6th. February 6th. That's not my birthday. Do you think he just randomly wrote a journal entry to be like, see, I was always a part no, of your life. Like, but my thing and is he like, just forgot your birthday at the time. If my, like, dad, if, if my dad actually did write this, like, when I was born, then I'm like, why? Like, did you forget the date, like, that soon after I was born? <laughs> or are you not? Well, Were you not born, like, February born February 5th? born February 6th then. Uh, and then my dad also. It would be on your birth certificate. My dad, my dad also sent me another. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen my birth certificate, but my dad also sent me um, another journal entry, and he's like, "Oh, what was it? It was so funny." Look up, uh, look up, real quick before I call my mom. Let me, let me, let me. My dad sent me and my sister this journal entry, uh, and he's like, "Look at this. Isn't this sweet?" Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's and he sent this uh, September twenty fourth, Tuesday. Um, my children are beautiful. Matthew is as happy, bright-eyed, joyous, and healthy as one could imagine a bouncing baby boy to be. Uh, and he says that goes 24 years ago. And I said, oh, I just I said, Dad, I'm 23. <laughs> and he said, ha ha, smarty math pants. And then he sent me this picture. Smarty math? It's not about math. It's about knowing how old your son is. This, I like how your dad's excuse is that, ha ha, you, smarty know, pants. you know math. Oh, wow. Oh, someone's so good at math. <laughs> Dad, I'm 23 years old. Let me call my mom real quick and see okay. if she knows my... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, do you have a... Come on, Mom. I know you can't be that busy. What is she doing? What could she possibly be doing? I don't know. It's 3.30. She's probably getting off work right now. Hi. Mom. Let me see if my dad knows. Oh, your dad definitely. My dad doesn't know the exact time I was born. Well, he, my dad also doesn't know how old I, think, I am. Or I think my, my birthday, dad's a bit so. jealous of my mom's knowledge of the time I was born. Hey, my boy. Hey, dad. What's up? How's it hanging? Hey, I just want you to know, I when uh, you, the call and at one thirty in the morning, um, I knew who that was. 
Oh, I sorry, Dad. I forgot about that. Is that the Bernie Sanders. That was the that was the the Bernie Sanders call I did to my father. It, <laughs> I'll, I'll go into that in a minute. But I'm actually I'm recording a podcast. Use Jackson's phone, but it's you know. Yeah. Well, I thought my Bernie Sanders impression was pretty spot on, but uh, I'm actually recording a podcast right now. So you're on you're on the mic. Um, I just wanted to know. Did you, did you hear that exactly? Like, oh. <laughs> He's like, God damn it! I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna actually talk have a nice with my son. With my son. Now Dad, I have to talk to this creation that the internet made of him. Dad, do you uh do you know what time I was born? I want royalties. You want royalties? I'll send yeah, you a I check. To, I haven't signed a disclosure um yet, so that is true. In California, you can't record someone without their permission. Well, he's in South Carolina, so it doesn't matter where we're. Yeah. Oh, oh well, you know, I think there's some loopholes there. How do you know I am? What are you? Are you about to walk in the room? <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> Dad. Um, what time was I? I, I you are, but what am I? Oh, oh, okay. What what time? What time was I born? <laughs> Early in the morning, and the car locks froze on the car. No, I mean, like, what time was my birth? Like time. You know, because like when they're like, "Oh, he was born at like seven something p.m." or uh, I don't know that. <sighs> we just called Ryan's mom, and she knew it down to the exact minute. She didn't have to look it up or nothing. Yeah, well, I wasn't squeezing you out there, was I? No, which would mean it'd probably be easier for you to remember because you weren't in drastic pain. But I have to give you props for answering the phone. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so th- thank you so much. Is this your first time on the podcast, Dad? Yes, it is, man. Wow. It only took 173 episodes. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised. I thought I, I think we've tried in the past, but you didn't answer. But uh, yeah, Dad, thank you so much. You know, I was there when Ryan was born too. Do I need to talk to my dad? You might. You might want. I am your. Maybe I am your dad, Ryan. What if we? What if we found out we were brothers? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. That would be not, only half brothers. If, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks, Dad. I'll, I'll call you later and have a real a real conversation and update you on how life's been. Okay. Okay. And the, the license was weird. Yeah. So yeah. That. Samaritan. I know. Well, the it, the funny thing is, uh, to fill in the listeners real quick, uh, Carson, uh, Tucker, the youngest Tucker brother, he's not 21 yet, uh, but we look pretty similar. So I gave him my old driver's license, uh, so he could get into bars and stuff. Which, yes, I'm aware is illegal, but I was like, oh, you can use that as as you know you, and it worked. Uh, but then he lost his wallet, and as soon as he lost it, someone spent all the money in his account and everything. But they still s- mailed my license back to my dad. So they they spent all of his money, <laughs> but they were still courteous enough to mail the, the driver's license back. Yeah, they probably threw the license away, and then a, a real good Samaritan picked it up and mailed it back. Oh, yeah, that's dad. true, actually. That's probably true. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thanks, Dad. I'll and talk to you soon. Way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell that to somebody now myself please don't well it's got it's yeah. got your address on it so go for it okay cool uh, if you want to sell it go ahead yeah. put it put it on ebay all right i love you dad talk to you soon love you too love you too ryan my son i love you too dad uh maybe I, well I, I can't call you dad yet i don't know that i don't know the facts we're gonna have to get a blood test yeah yeah I, I, you sound very confident of the fact that you're my dad but you know this is this is news that would just crush me not because the fact that you'd be my dad but the fact that the man who i thought was my dad well you would still have that bond with him that's not going anywhere no i'd throw him to the side like he was like he was garbage that's true if he's not my dad you have to start a new relationship with my dad yeah cool all right well i'll talk to you later three and me ryan yeah get get that 23 and me (laughs) it'll just say dale (laughs) like father dale (laughs) yep (laughs) all right i love you dad see See you I can't believe that's the first time we got my dad on the podcast. I know. Is that the first time anyone's ever heard his voice on Super Mega? Yeah. Damn. Well, no one's heard my dad's voice. Yeah. Well, that was was Dale, everybody. I gotta take a shit. That was Dale's first... uh, Oh, shit. There goes the microphone off the table. This table! Real quick, while you... I'm gonna tell the story of what my dad was talking about the Bernie Sanders call. I was uh, drunk uh, at like 3 a.m. And uh, I used Jackson's phone and I called my dad and I was like, Dale! This is Bernie Sanders. I want you to be my running mate. And he goes, Matt, and hung up. <laughs> he knew it. He knew it was me. Which, I mean, like, I guess, of course, who else would it be? But We're going to break these mics by just having them fall. And we're going to have to buy expensive mics again. Okay, yeah. I'm actually going to go take a shit. You're going to take a shit? Yeah. I will be waiting with bated breath. I don't know breath. if it's going to be a shit. I just know that some, I have pressure in my... In my uh, uh, Blow it out. I'll be waiting. <laughs> hey, we're back. How was, uh, how was it, Ryan? It was good. Still blood. 
still blood in my shit, still kind of mucusy, but uh, it's not. Yeah, I mean that's about it. Mucusy is a horrible way. To, it's just it's like one of the mucus just essentially action. means like there is an outer. It seems like there's like an outer coating of slime, ectoplasm of like of like is clear. Is just your body's slime. way of lubricating? Is it just natural lube? Yeah, because isn't that what what? If well, it's producing more mucus because of the infection, I think. Because, oh, to keep it from being because you know, like when you get sick, that's cool. Like, your body has those like responses. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh oh. Well, the the problem with uh, that they're saying is like uh, w- when it comes to like a bacterial infection, when it comes to colitis or Crohn's or anything like that, it's uh, essentially it's the body um, thinking there is some sort of bacteria in there that it has to fight off, and then it doesn't know to turn off, and so it just stays in that fight mode. That's so I'm constantly shitting shit. Autoimmune things are scariest because it's literally your body attacking itself. Yeah, you know? it's like like AIDS for example. It's your immune system's like I'm gonna kill myself. Cancer. Cancer, yeah. Is literally just your body killing itself. Just growing. It's just like your cells don't know when to stop growing and it just goes crazy. Cancer is horrifying and I hope we find a cure in our lifetime. Or the cure is already out there, but the medical industry is like, Mm-mm. who knows? That would be I, horrible. And I think the the true the true test of it would be like someone like Jeff Bezos gets like really bad lung cancer. Well, you gotta cancer. think about it. Steve Jobs died of cancer. Yeah. So, so. but he also chose to go the holistic route of natural oh, medicine. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Because pancreatic cancer is a bad one. But I think. What does that say though? Like either he's just I don't know. Does that say something about society at all, or does that just say something about him? Because either he didn't trust the medical industry, and he's like, I have better luck. Just he was that kind of guy though. He was always tripping acid. Like yeah. back in the day, he was very into like he was a hippie. You mm-hmm. know? So he was. Well, you can look at it. He he looks. He kind of looks like a uh, John Lennon. Yeah, when he started off, like when he started Apple, yeah, I think he had the long hair and everything. I watched a really good movie. He has the same kind of like face as John Lennon. He does, yeah. And the same glasses. Yeah, and then just give him, like give the Steve Jobs that you and I know long hair, like long brown John Lennon hair. That's John Lennon. Yeah. <gasps> what if? What if John Lennon is actually Steve Jobs? He didn't die. He was like, I need to move into the tech industry, but I can never move past the Beatles because it's too big. I need to recreate myself and then use the money I got from the Beatles to put into this tech industry thing. And he created Apple. What if? That's all I'm saying. Um, Is there anything that we can do to make this uh, podcast a little more festive? You know? You mean talk about Christmas? Well, I don't know. Like, it's like that's the thing with these podcasts. Like, this is the special Christmas episode. It's like I don't know. Is is this just a podcast that happens to come out the week of Christmas? So we just co- cover right, it. And... Here we go. Let's talk. Let's talk about Christmas. I we have just plenty we can talk about. What's the best gift you ever got for Christmas? Mo- or at least most memorable, meant the most. Fuck. I think for me. Hmm. Okay, there's two I can I can recall. One was my my first digital video camera. It was called the Vidster. Do you Mine was Vidster? like some Sony DV thing. Like it was like. Well, my first video silver. camera was tape, but then what changed the game for me? Was- oh, I rem- sorry, you just flooded me with a sense of like, nos- like I f- I remember that feeling of holding that mini DV camera because you had like little tapes. The tapes, yeah. The, the, but the you could tape. also uh, plug it into a computer. I couldn't do that with mine because mine was too old. My mom bought it off of a friend at work for me, and gave it to me for my birthday. The one that I started on was just the bigger tapes, and you had to. Put it into the TV. Yeah, and with the, record it onto the VHS tapes. Well, I remember uh, my friend also had one where there was a V there was a VHS that you could open up and put the mini tape inside and play that, and mm-hmm. that was really cool. But I got this thing called the Vidster, which was probably the worst camera you can ever imagine. the The lens was like a pinhole, and you could plug it in and only play the videos through its own software. And I remember I I filmed a video myself lip syncing uh, a song from Homestar Runner where the King was talking and singing about butter. And I'd show it to my babysitter and shit. And it had skins you could put on, like a camo one. It had one that was like lava. And I remember this kid made fun of me. He's like, that's Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I know for a fact it is. I'm like, no, it's not. I came with it. He's like, oh, no, you love Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And I got really upset. Uh, another great This gift is the was... one that I got one year for Christmas. Classic. Classic. Do you, let me show you what the vids It was, was a, I don't know if it was a Canon, but it was like a kind of tall looking No, it was a video TV. camera. What? It wasn't a Canon. No, yeah, it was a yeah, video yeah, yeah. camera. You get the joke? <laughs> I got it. It was the Mattel Vidster. Look at this. This is what I had, Ryan. <laughs> the Mattel Vidster is a digital well, paper camcorder. What is, what, uh, oh, dude. On. Okay, ready? Ready? It features a 1.1 inch LCD display, a two times digital zoom, and records into AVI format 320 by 240 video files at 15 frames per second with a 1.3 megapixel resolution. And the sound is 22 kilohertz. Mono. 
that's so bad. Powered by four AA batteries onto an SD card that can only have 512 megabyte maximum capacity. You could only record it onto an SD card with 512 megabytes. What were those? Okay, I can't remember what it is. But there were these. Merry Christmas! Oh, oh my God! God. Ah! What the fuck? Oh, my dick. Oh, this is what the hell? I actually have. What are you doing over here? Oh hey, my God! Merry this is Christmas. Brent Aaron just. Burst. Brent and Aaron just walked in. Wow! Well, how's it going? Let's actually what fucking let's put this on pause and say hello to our oh, friends. Oh. No way! No, Brent's no. here. Aaron's here. Oh you my God! The Japanese Aaron. whiskey. <laughs> oh my god, guys. What's up? Oh my goodness. While Matt and Ryan go show Brent and Aaron around the good old Super Megaplex, it's us, Ryan 2 and Matt 2, here to give you your weekly dose of the ad reads. Yes. By this time of year, the planners and Virgos of the world have checked off everything on their list, while the rest of us last minute people are running around like psychos trying to figure out what to get everyone. But don't fear, fellow last minute gifters, me undies has everyone on your list covered. It's the one stop shopping spot to get gifts that people will actually love. Delivered straight to your door, free shipping, no buts about it. Actually, all butts about it. Cause undies, <laughs> get it? I wear me undies every single day of my life, and that's not an exaggeration because I, I replaced my entire my entire underwear wardrobe with me undies because uh, they're the softest, most comfortable underwear you'll ever slap on your sweet little tookus. And it's cold, it's dark out at like 4 p.m. MeUndies wants you to know that it's okay not to leave the house as much this winter, by the way, because you can be comfortable in your MeUndies, you know what I'm saying? And sizes XS, <clears throat> for, you know, that means extra small, to 4XL, with plenty of brand new products, the options for getting cozy are endless. When they say cozy, they mean it. With undies that are three times softer than cotton, I, I can tell you that's true in the cutest wintry prints and colors. That's like really soft. This holiday season, cozy up in their new robes for men and women. Treat your feet in their soft new slippers and of course match the whole fam squad with their cute new baby bodysuit. With brand new holiday prints and cozy new products, MeUndies has a gift for literally everyone on your list. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners as well. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. This is a no brainer, especially because we have a 100% Satisfaction guarantee. So well, they have one set. They, they do. They, yeah. do. they wrote that. Uh, I am. We will not give you back the money, but they will. They will. It's a one hundred percent satisfaction <clears throat> guarantee. Yeah. So to get fifty percent off your first pair, free shipping, and a one hundred percent satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies.com slash super mega. Ryan, that's meundies.com slash super mega. Woo! No, are they, so are they still showing them around the office? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but we have one more ad read. I guess we can get out of the way. You might as well. You, you know, it's 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 Squarespace. Tell them about it. Oh my goodness, Ryan Two. Do you want to make a website just for Ryan Two and not for Ryan One? Exactly. That's that's what I've been looking for. Is there any website I can do that with? Absolutely. There's a, there's a wonderful little website tool called Squarespace. Whoa. Squarespace.com will let you make whatever cool website you you want to make. Anything you want to make a website for your podcast, you're making with your friends, trying to rip off Super Mega. You're selling T-shirts. You're 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 a farmer. You're a lawyer. You need a website, professional, funny, whatever you want. You can do it on Squarespace with their easy-to-use tools, beautiful, beautiful designer templates that don't look like just like like you slapped some stuff on a web page. They they make it so easy to make the most beautiful website you can ever imagine. That sounds like it's too good to be true. But Ryan too has another question. Yes, Ryan too. Uh, like, does it does it have a traffic overview feature? Because I would really need that for a website. Of course, you can see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. Ryan too, you can gain insight into the top traffic sources, products, device types, browsers, and operating systems by visit. And with Squarespace, you own all the content you put on the Squarespace platform. That what? Means, yeah, they don't own it. They offer one-click data portability. But do they support podcasting for my Ryan 2 Movies podcast? Absolutely, they do. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> they offer moral support for that. There's audio blocks that support podcasting. Yeah, that's you the can, one I was sorry, looking at. You can embed audio <laughs> on your site and tag the audio for iTunes if the audio block is placed into a blog. Multiple contributors allow you... Multiple contributors. I'm keeping that in. No, don't keep in my mix, please. They, they, you can give contributors selective access to your site's website manager, depending on their permissions. If you can have your whole team of friends helping you out with your website. So please, everybody listening, if you want your own 
amazing website. Check out squarespace.com for a free tri trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash supermega to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And that'll get you real far because domains can be woo, real pricey. So uh, please go on over there and do that. Tell them the boys sent you. Oh, I, I, I think they uh, got done with the tour not too long ago. We actually might have to cut in in the middle of a conversation. Oh, shit. Uh, the, uh, back to Ryan 1 and Matt 1. Had we walked in and half the furniture or equipment been from the Grumps office, I would have been, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys aren't keeping track of it right no, now, right? No, not really. Yeah. We might have a thing or two here that's from the Grumps office. What was the and I'm not saying specifics. I'm just saying, like, there might be some stuff here just coin like by accident. Just give it to me. Everyone, when they leave a job, they steal one thing. What did you guys steal? We took like two games. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which games? Uh, it was some game that like we knew you guys never played, but we were really into it. So we were, I don't remember. It was a GameCube game. It was something we we were like, oh, we took SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. We How still fucking playing. dare you? <laughs> People really wanted us to finish that game. We just finished it. We were gonna it invite Tom Kenny months. on and play it with us. Do you, you want to finish it? Uh, well, on Game Grumps. Game oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, you can go back. <laughs> you don't know about that question. That was a total throwaway question, and Matt immediately knew, like, oh, we stole this. <laughs> it, it was, it was, uh, it was hard. It's a hard game to beat, but we beat it in 28 episodes, and it was. I'm, I'm actually. Wow. Did done. people hate it? They loved it. It was. It's like our one of our best performing series of all time. Wow. It got like crazy views, people, and that's because well, oh, you guys probably weren't dunking on it like we were. No, we didn't dunk. Well, I well near I, the near the end, I was getting I was getting pretty fucking upset. I have a lot of nostalgia Be for that game because the so. end the ending boss is designed so poorly. Like it's one of those. It's like a gauntlet you have to run through and do things correctly, or else you have to go all the way back to the beginning. And it takes like 5, 10 Everybody's minutes to get there. Everybody's favorite last bosses, <laughs> just like that. I love gauntlets, yeah. dude. Where you just have to like Ninja Gaiden if you if you get to the last boss and. Even if you get to the last phase of the last boss, if you die, you have to restart the entire, like, three stages. We played a Hanukkah game yesterday. Those like, that sucked. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we also played a game for for our Hanukkah special where it was, uh, we had to raise alarms uh, because Gaza. Yeah, Israeli cities because Gaza was shooting missiles. Yeah. We're trying to just find Hanukkah games, and that one came up. And we were like, I Whoa. so don't want to talk right now. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Well, you, you guys start actually, talking. so a big, a big part of your company is, uh, he's Israeli, and a big part of ours is Palestinian. So why don't we have a podcast yeah. where we can try to see if we can figure out what two-state solution, we need no to, solution. Dan and I need to have a live debate. <laughs> Israel versus Palestine. I went to the new SP video shoot yeah. the other day. Very fun. Wait, so you didn't get any of that funny quality stuff we had earlier? Yeah, there's some funny banter oh, in I there. Can, I can, we can clip and throw some right, stuff. Yeah. Like, damn, uh, the NSP shoot was awesome. Yeah. It was yeah. Beautiful. The it's, dolly shit. It's weird too, like, because uh, I, I, I think, uh, uh, Brian, we all had that moment recently where it's just like, this is like a real music video. You know what it I mean? Was. Like, no, it was. The, no, the crew was amazing. And everyone is so, like, like positive and on point and talented and Tucker runs a great set. Like, oh, yeah, no, it was fantastic. And also on top of that, um, Oh, I got a great cameo. I got to put some plates down. I was a waiter. And, uh... Wait, what just happened? I was just making sure the mic's pointed at your mouth. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, how come he gets to have his so much closer to his mouth? Brent, you can get it closer. Do you want it closer to your yeah. mouth? I'm just saying. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a Brent, mumbler. Brent's actually probably a little bit closer. Are you, are you trying to drown me out? Because no. I, I professionally use this mic on, like, a daily <laughs> basis. So <laughs> this, is just, this is just how I ride it. Yeah, rock on. Yeah, but it was, it's, it's going to be a good video. I could tell. It yeah. looks fucking stellar. God, my yeah, asshole um, is fucking... Sorry. It, it, it's so fun. are we talking about this? Your butthole thing. The, uh, I, th this butthole news is new to me. It's it's been um it's been kind of like a running update thing on Super Mega for the past yeah, let's three be podcasts. Let's be honest. Okay, so the first time you shit blood, you're like, okay, as a dude, right? No, there was no, we, there was no, a lot no, of convincing no. to get him to go to the I was doctor. gonna say, because the first time you do it as a guy, you're immediately like it, you know, it'll be fine. I'm like, it's probably the orange <laughs> chicken <laughs> I ate. That's what I thought. You know, like, like, <laughs> it's the dye in the orange chicken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I had some hot Cheetos the other day. No, you were justifying it for a while. You kept going on. You're like, Well, I had some other red stuff. Stuff. I was like, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> like I eat red stuff. Those razor blades I, I swallowed yesterday. And, yeah. the, and, and the fact that you knew it was like red blood and not like the dark inter like you. So you did the research. You went down the Google hole. I, of I like, did. You know, digested hey, if blood. If, versus if it's black poop, that's 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 it, really it's bad because it's yeah, yeah. deep internal bleeding. It, it's digested through your but system. But yeah. because it's red, it, it's more probably just in the kind of like lining of. Like, or it could just be yeah. Or, you could have or a like laceration a, on your anus. I could. Hey. 
it, I I have that actually, and I just had to go get a finger up my ass, uh, and I have to have surgery on my asshole next month. <laughs> Super Mega Boys, <laughs> five hemorrhoids, buttholes falling apart yeah. right and left. Five hemorrhoids. I, I got Which, the magnesium. You have side five trait. hemorrhoids. I have five. How hemorrhoids. hard are you pushing or wiping? I'm not. It, they've been there for years. So, so it's just it's, genetics, just total. Yeah, this it, is it's, like a genetic. It's literally thing. horrible. And I had to go, and he stuck his finger up my ass. I was like, oh wow, okay. And the worst part was the witness that they had to have in the room was this like very beautiful girl of my age that I just had no. to watch my ass get spread and. Yeah. Did you get her number? What? Did you get her number? I was like, hey, so what are you doing after this? You know, you know, if, if you guys want, you know what I can to, handle, like yeah. a, like a com pie celebrating, like talking about this asshole issue. I, I I have the magnesium citrate in the car. What is that? It's it's gonna help me clean out my 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 system. I gotta oh, take it. Oh, so you're I'm about so to go do the thing. Yeah, wow. I gotta take it. I gotta take it at six p.m. You know and then I gotta to wake up and that, take right? it again. At, well, he's driving. No, I'm taking him to colonoscopy tomorrow. We're on the way back. Make me, I, I chose not to be put all the way out because I want to. Oh. I want to experience my first colonoscopy. You gonna record it? I'm uh, bringing a disposable camera. Yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna be picture him winding it up like as the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you are you really filming this? <laughs> so are you more no. nervous about it? Or, wait, no, no. Let's go back. So how long did it take you before somebody finally convinced you to go go talk to a doctor? Well, the thing was, you actually let me look at a calendar. It wasn't even really like you went. You were like, oh, I guess I should go now. Like I scheduled. It was Thanksgiving, and you were supposed to come over. Thanksgiving Day was my second time at the emergency room. He spent Thanksgiving in the emergency room. What? the fuck yeah Vicky, are you okay uh, right now yeah what like we'll find out what i have and then we'll see what's going what on what caused you to go to the emergency room uh the symptoms didn't change and the meds they jesus fucking christ <laughs> jesus, the jesus mic keeps mention. falling off uh you could just hold the mic too if you want. I, I could you know what i'll just do that it's very heavy though <laughs> oh yeah by the way brent and Aaron are here they 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 surprised us. <laughs> yeah. Were you actually surprised? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So wait, Harrison didn't mention anything? No, no. one spoiled anything. Oh, we thought for sure. I, I thought walked, for sure. I walked through, like, the door opened, and it was one of those things where it's like, I felt like, I was like, who? I was like, who is that? <laughs> and then it, like, clicked. I was like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> it scared me actually. Give me a little fright. Like yeah, you guys said your place for a while now. You guys had a pretty generating reaction. <laughs> it's it's weird being on a show, dude. That's like every day of my life. Fun game grumps. It's just like the mics keep Mike drooping. Issue. Well, these are the Amazon Basic mic stands. Really no, oh, they're, you know they're terrible. I probably maybe don't we need. I might have we need to get something. like a coin or something. Now? I think like every boom stand is terrible, just in general. Um, these are great arms. It's just the the. These are like the best mic arms, the road ones. Mm. But mm. they they just aren't road mics in general supposed to be solid across the board. Road's right? a pretty good company. Yeah. These are uh this is the Shure SM seven B, which is like what every big podcast uses. Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on one of these bad boys. Uh, right, another type of Shure. The Shure SM seven B. You and Michael have so much in common, I say it all the time. <laughs> I went to uh West Lake Recording Studios recently, my friend Freddie, because he's recording in there. Yeah. And they had, uh, that's the one where they have the room they built just for bubbles. Wow. Uh, wow. Those are still fecal splattered on the walls. <laughs> yeah, it's all over. Doo -doo, doo -doo and feces all over the wall. Oh, awesome. Wait, was your question how long it took me to... Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me look at a calendar real quick, because... Uh, you don't know? Like, uh, but, but you went and saw somebody. This was in November. So I'd say, like, I started having these symptoms, like, anywhere between the 13th and 15th of November. And then I didn't go to, uh... The ER, or it was right after we got it. those lobster quesadillas in Van Nuys. I think I went. <laughs> yeah, it and so was. You're, you're still telling That'll yourself. Do it. You're still telling yourself it's the food, right? It's well, that's like, the thing. At the yeah. ER, they they took a stool sample and they found no bacteria, in terms of mm. like that would cause a bacterial infection. Yeah, yeah. But I still had the. I had to. We already talked about this, but I had to. I was at the office and I. They gave me a kit because the. Gastro near what is he called? Gastroenterologist. Gastro gastro and in I can't say it. Fuck it. The, the poo poo man. Um, <laughs> Doctor Poo. He, he told me I needed to send in like uh, a sample of my of my doo doo, and I was sitting here. You know, I pooped into like a little paper kind of cone thing, and then I was digging through my poop, and I had to put it in vials, and I sent mm -hmm. it off through FedEx. How I so when I was thirteen, I went to Spain, came back, and they thought I had Giardia, which they might have whatever. I sort of self resolved. But mm -hmm. how humiliating is that moment as a, as a human being where you're picking through your own when you're getting oh that no, sample, you know, like, every step of that pro because I did the same thing recently. Yeah, and I. <laughs> I did that whole thing, and you, and you gotta like freeze uh, one, and you gotta like mix yeah, one into another. So I had like yeah. doo doo in my freezer. Well, actually, it was <laughs> take two because the first time Ryan just shit straight into the FedEx bag, and, and <laughs> like, uh oh, that's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> we took it to the FedEx place, and they were like, <laughs> "What is this?" We joked about it. we were like, "Like, what if Ryan just shit straight into the FedEx?" Well, I was saying, it's, you it's, have it's to this, declare it if it's poo. 
Because it's like... It's, it's a well, pre-declared like, envelope. Well, uh, so the experience that you didn't have was when I did mine, I took it directly to the, the doctor's office. Oh, so and you had your poop ready. Yeah, so yeah. I had it in a little bag, and I thought it was just like I drop it <laughs> like off a okay. Like a bag? It, it, no, it was, it was like a paper bag. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, you know what you're hoping is that it's like a mail slot you put in, never have to see No, 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 because I, I, I went up to the stand, and I'm like, here it is, and it's all labeled, and I'm like, all right, are we good? And she's like, all right, hold on. And then, <laughs> and then she like opens it up no. and, like, and just like, you know, in front of the whole waiting room and stuff is like that's a good one <laughs> okay oh. that's enough and I'm just like that's my that's my <laughs> just carrying around like it's no big the, deal like, I don't even the, know your name the thing that made it hard for me is I have a very like strong gag reflex so like oh, yeah. when I'm scooping it into those little vials like I'm looking at the consistency and the texture of my poop and all I can picture while I'm doing it is like it in my mouth and going down my throat and I'm just like so those I'm like gagging thoughts, as, yeah because I have to shovel it in there and like the way my poop is right now like I had to like kind of scoop a little and like kind of oh. shake it a little bit to get in there so it's like liquidy or mucusy yes it is I, I, I saw it I saw it it's very huh mucus there's, there's is a, like a there's a there's like a thin coat of mucus like yeah. it, like because the body so like infects me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you sent it through the portal in Poltergeist and pulled it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, uh, the, it's a tennis ball covered. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's that's been Ryan's life lately. That's this the whole Man. end of our decade. The whole saga on Super Mega has been Ryan's colon. Do you have do you, <laughs> Ryan's colon? You should have a, a, a charity fundraiser for Ryan's colon. Actually, the colon. last episode of the a couple episodes ago was literally called Ryan's colon. Aww. And um, actually, you, we're gonna get the final update uh, on our. You year know, you episode. know, we don't watch your shit. We don't listen. To <laughs> well, that's why we were we were updating you. Yeah, got it. We know right. that you don't watch our stuff. <laughs> but I'm glad we could update our two uh, two former. Well, let's employees. talk about your hemorrhoids. Well, actually, well, I was in the you waiting said room. five, right? Five or so. He actually didn't give me a specific. He said five or so because he. Five or so. He was like, he's like, he's like, yeah. Every uh, <laughs> I lost count after. That <laughs> was a ton of them. What do you do? What do you do? Do you do pop? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you do for you. Don't, you should not. So you should not try to pop it. Right? Because that's can't. just infect. Yeah, you can, but you should not try to pop one. But it's also in an area where like infections crazy possible. Well, basically, right? what it is, it's, it's a ruptured blood vessel that's yeah. swollen up. And what what happens is he gave me the different options for what my options were. Right? He's like, we can go in and with in surgery and, and cut it out and stitch it up. Hmm. Uh, but it's going to be, he told me that he has people that curse his name for months afterwards because of how uncomfortable it is. So I was like, okay, maybe not that one. So what we're doing is he's going to get some syringe with some kind of chemical and inject them all. And it's supposed to Whoa. go back into my, into my your anus. My anus yeah. You're going to record that one? Get the camera out? Wide, wide, wide. I mean, click. possibly. Wide, wide. <laughs> See, it? I was thinking like to they know don't put that. You under for that either. Do you, do you push too hard? Is that why? No, no, no. <laughs> it's just, I, these are. I had this when I was a freshman in college, so I must have at some point. You've been talking about having hemorrhoids for, like, a long time, and you're like, I should go get checked out, and then he never did. Like, all the time working for, the, for you guys. Question still stands. Do you push too hard? Like, what? No, I don't. I'm very, uh... Because that was, that was my problem. I pushed too hard, and then mm. and then somebody... That's probably how it started, yeah. Well, I just didn't know how to push, you know? It was just like, <laughs> this is how you get poop out. Okay, okay, not to be a weirdo, but... Shouldn't you not put like when it's ready? It's ready. Yeah, exactly. I well, I didn't know that. I just push. thought like you just push and it comes out. But see, that's what well, I when you still. when you push, it does come out. But then, mm. but then you know, a doctor was like, "No, you don't. You just let it come." And I was like, "Oh." And then it's like way better now. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I'm I'm hoping to learn. The to be time. fair, you I'm gonna, I'm a, gonna learn from you. you there's a period of your life food. where where you were uh, you know 80 percent of your diet was Wendy's and fast food. <laughs> I think that probably had some part. That's of like it. now, man. Like <laughs> I was I was a real health nut when I was a kid. I remember when this was happening, Aaron, because I remember you you kept. Proclaiming, you were like, it's not supposed to hurt when you shit. I just figured this out. Yeah, you kept saying that. You were yeah, like it's it's not supposed to hurt. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to just come right out, and smooth. But I've kind of become numb to it because of the past five years. Mm. Um, I actually remember the first time I discovered it was your um, hemorrhoid. Yeah, uh, you're I, just having fun digging up there. I was I was taking a funny <laughs> picture with a friend. And they were like, what the hell? With a friend? They were like, what? The what do you I, mean with a friend? For a friend or with a friend? With a friend. They were taking the picture for me because it was a picture that I had my asshole spread. Yeah, and I had right? to, you had to Photoshop your friend's penis out. But. Right. Uh, but basically they went, whoa, what the hell is that? And I was like, what? They were like, there's, there's like a thing in your ass. And like, they were like, whoa. And they showed me the picture. Gotcha. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah. That's, a, that's my hemorrhoid story. So well, we, man. We, we are, Ryan and I are both blessed with um, actually around the same time period, uh, you guys, you guys, you, you gotta have a save super mega Zanus, uh, t-shirt or something. I mean, it's kind of right? fitting like, for us. It's on brand, right? It's that on we brand. We both have medical problems <laughs> relating to our assholes right now. Yeah. Hey man, same. I, I mean, the reason I got that checkup was because like when I, every time I took a shit, 
I felt like I just had to throw up. Mm. So, so what was going on? Was it, so what is going on? I don't know. On? It's gone now. Okay. I think I just like, I was eating really badly for a while. Okay. And like every time I shot, my body was like, symptoms? stop. Uh, it was like two weeks. That could be like dietary. <laughs> like you know, no, it was totally dietary. I mean, no, I'm just, I'm just curious because I, mm. I like to compare. But it's way things. gone now. It's, I got all the tests and everything, and they were like, "You're fine. You're healthy as ever." And I'm like, Dang. "Oh, okay." <laughs> the comments like to rip on me, like you're so malnourished, like you look like you smoke crack. I get when I get my blood work done, perfect. Yeah, I same. Am a healthy boy. Mm. Same. Uh, but I still do look like I regularly use crack cocaine. When I had that panic attack and the EMTs came and they did all those tests on me, whatever they could do locally, they were like, you're like one of the healthiest people we've ever seen who's like called us for something. And it's like, mm. oh, <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Uh, it was when we were filming Good Game. Oh, that's it's, right. It's I remember like, you told me about that. It's just like a really stressful time. But wasn't it like it was like caffeine related or something, right? Or just Well, I think that triggered it, yeah. Because yeah. I was, I was really addicted to caffeine. Guy. Plus, I think once your heart starts, like, it's almost like it's a biofeedback loop or something. Like, it just starts going, and you start panicking more, because, yeah. like, what the fuck is well, like, it was just, am I having an allergic reaction right now? And yeah, for real. about that? Like, is my throat, is yeah, it yeah. tight? It's going to start feeling tight. <laughs> there's just, there's just other shit that was happening in my life, too, so. It was just, it was just like, a compounding Annually. effect of, like, a bunch of other stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, uh, um, all that butt play. Can we get your, we get your impressions of? Yeah, uh, I was. How, how is Super Mega doing now that now that we? I was honestly just gonna transition to that because what, what this, you guys think of the look, Super Megaplex? I I did not expect the pool. I did not expect uh, three stories. The bouncy house. Uh, the bouncy house is a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. That the frivolity. I honestly and I'm. Oh, uh, we'll take you up in the helicopter after this. Yeah. We just still need to get a second landing pad because I want a helicopter. The too. guard drones were a little intense though. That was weird. Yeah. yeah. Keep those uh, no, this place is fucking unreal, man. It's it's amazing. Like I I'm I you know again I don't mean it to sound condescending, but I'm so proud of you guys. This is. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's making me jealous. A I mean, bit. we're we're working on our new office, and it's very it's very much like you know, hey, you guys, all the, all the rooms are boxes, and this is like a you, house. You need somewhere to record some grumps before you get into the <laughs> office. It's open, <laughs> open door policy. You let us wow. record for three years. Yeah, and after, <laughs> so, also, only after we could we could we could give we, you you know stop after we left grumps. You still let us record. For yeah. Three, so if you guys need somewhere to record grumps or anything that's not in your living room, whatever, we have all the everything already set up. Wow. I mean, console, dang, very nice. We're actually sort of home, like permitting process, by the way. The PSA, never build anything in Glendale. Uh, Wasn't planning on it. Holy shit. Um, so I think eh, it might be about another week and a half and we'll finally be yeah. there. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Well, we're close. Yeah. Is this official? This is official news. That yeah, is, yeah. That won't be out for until that happens. This comes out this 17th. This is the, this is the special Christmas oh, by the, episode. By the 17th, I think we'll have started moving stuff in. Which you guys get nice. an office tour video? Yeah. We, we uh, haven't done well, that yet. Maybe. Nope. Well, we did kind of like a, this is what our, it's back when we didn't have like sound paneling or anything, mm. I think. So you guys, um, what what people may not know here is, uh, my mic keeps going flaccid. Yeah, that's, it's, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, me, you know what I like about you? You're doing a little almost like, you know, in gangster movies where they hold the gun sideways. You got to kind of like, oh, can I hold that too? Yeah, here. Um, Cause sometimes it's, is it this thing that keeps, that yeah, yeah, it's this, this, right this nut right here. here. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, because Jackson kept pressuring us. Like we're like we're gonna do less plays. No, no, go do the podcast. And we're like, we'll do we'll do that later. Do less plays. He's like, no, 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 no. Just go do the podcast. <laughs> and then he gave him with a great excuse. He's like, because we're using Jackson's laptop to record. He's like, I, I need my yeah. laptop uh, at a certain time, so go do the podcast now. So we're like, oh okay. Our yeah. man on the inside. So let's uh, let's talk about that. What do, uh, is Twitter? You all right? Is it? I was just checking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, do people know how many employees you have now? That it's no longer just two dudes on a couch. Yeah, I think yeah. people do because it's because it's we always say it's like us. <laughs> Why Jackson. are you doing that to them, man? They know it's just a corporate machine. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you trying to sift the Rangrums community over to us now? I've never seen a gold chain, a gold rope that big. It, you wear it well. Thank you. It's good, yeah. but... Rolex but, is pretty shiny, too. Really? It's not bad. Actually, like, the cool thing about his Rolex is if you look, every single hour is actually diamond and credit. Oh, shit. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you guys but are still doing that 70-30 split with the cash, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Patreon. Well, basically... Uh, <laughs> Let me let me see. Well, yeah, people know. So we brought Jackson on earlier this year, um, and he's in a lot of videos. P people know uh, that he's like part of the company. Uh, he's our producer, and then Justin, everyone knows our editor. Mm. So it's like officially Super Mega is me and Ryan. But then we have you know Jackson. We have uh, Justin, our editor, who's in a lot of our videos too. And, and then we, we have Don, Don who uh, does our thumbnails, and that's it. And per well, Prezo. Oh yeah, we have a new editor now. And sometimes we'll get Ryan to do effects. Yeah, there's a guy named Ryan that does special effects. Uh, he has like a degree in nuke. Did you know any program. of this? No, I had no idea. <laughs> but like of the main employees, like when you think of like what gets done on day to day a day to day basis for the channel, it's 
uh, Matt, me, Justin, Jackson, and then Don. Yeah. So have you had the incident where, or, or a moment in which, you know, your employees were supposed to show up for work and timely and, and, and sort of like according to a calendar and then they just roll in whenever they feel like it and had to reprimand them. And then, and then sorry, no, sub question, sub question. We're, we're question cool, so. Did you feel like a traitor? <laughs> Well, see, like we are very, we're very understanding, and I'd say relaxed bosses. Um, we, I think we understand. Very, yeah, we all happens, start that way. So. We all start that way. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and people start disobeying you. No, and... no, we actually, we actually did have a serious talk recently. Where Ryan was like, like Ryan was like, I had you I, need to get here, like when when we say we're gonna get here, because then I just sit here and wait. And I was like. And you well, know, you well, know, you know the, final, like, the final straw of that was I was waiting here for an hour. You were an hour late. And you know, he doesn't like hanging out with the peons. You know what I mean? Too much eye contact, no, you know. The thing is, Jackson comes with him. So I'm here alone. <laughs> yeah, we're roommates. So Jackson comes with me. So Ryan what, just sits here by himself. Did you actually, honestly, like, like all kidding aside, did you learn anything from, from working at Grumps as far as like how to build this thing out? Yes. Really? Of course. I mean, we were, we were literally like existing in like this style of, of business for three years and then while we're building our channel so it, we kind of use that as the foundation of like that's why these like mics are the way they, that's mm. why our like recording room is set up the way it is oh, I mean, it's kind of so like I, very similar to the way the grumps did and I also just mean sort of like some uh, on some of the business side right like Absolutely, that it is that yeah. it is a little bit of a business which is weird right being it, a boss it, it is business. being a boss is intense sometimes it's like the yeah. best worst thing you can do you know yeah, ask Justin yeah <laughs> you know Jackson being my roommate but also my employee I, I can mm. take that home and say Jackson there's dishes in the sink and he'll go uh, yeah, but those aren't mine. And I'll, hey, well. He'll, he'll go, think of this as the job I pay you for. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll say, well, you know, it would suck if, uh, if pay, if pay, you know, it's getting tight around the office. Pay might have to start being. <laughs> Payroll might just be late this month, though, right? <laughs> and next yeah, month. I know it's automated, but. Uh... <laughs> some issues with the can make some you know, calls. One time, you know, uh, Justin, he he bought a Gatorade uh, and he finished it. He, he put the bottle down in the cup holder. And I went, you know, technically that's my Gatorade because that's my money. <laughs> you used but uh oh god i taught you so much i taught you so much the thing is like the, it's not actually the employee's money we're giving them the money so. it's still our money when they want to oh, buy yeah. something when they, with, when they want to buy something with their paycheck they, it has to there's a list it has to be approved yeah it's to, permission it, yeah usually about i'm us, glad you learned that from us yeah. we, we run a pretty tight ship so no, we, we learned everything we know yeah it's how we it's how we cook the books no, i mean like fucking being in the grump's office for for all those years like it, it changed us bro. No, but for real, like, <laughs> I mean, it was I, I, transcendent. There's like the main thing that I miss from uh, working at the Grump Space was just because I'm not like too much of a social person. I usually mm. just stay in my cave all the time. So being at the Grump Space gave me like kind of an excuse to have like not just like hang around with like the same, you know, couple people, Matt Jackson, <laughs> but um, it, it was just like a large group of people that like it helped me it be just vibes. more social. Great I half expected him to bust in here, and be like, "Yes, boss, <laughs> <laughs> sir." We actually hadn't cleaned the office before you, before you got there, so. But I, um, I... I was wondering why he was so kind of like, man, I got to clean the office. I don't yeah, like, I was it like when it's dirty. I was like, I, mean, I was going to object. I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> um, we shot a video yesterday and it got real messy in that living room. But basically, like, yeah. I mean, I, I think, honestly, being in that office taught me more valuable skills that I can apply to my job now than I ever would have learned in four years of college. Because just being in that environment... It's like being on Wall Street, you know, you pick it up. You're, you're around, you're around the big shots, you pick it up and you become a big You know, player. I was Jonah Hill, you were Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, when yeah. we found out, we, we started this thing, you know, when they started in the garage, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. shitty little building. So you're saying he was the salesman of the group? Yeah. Well, and good. you're the guy dating your cousin? Yes. Is <laughs> okay. it is a good example too, just to, I mean, just for kids, I don't guess who would be listening to this and be like, I'm interested in doing that too. It's like you, you, you know, it's a privileged situation to be in an environment like that. And I think you were starting to take advantage of it at the end where you were asking me a lot more questions and I was like, I'm happy to answer them. Like, absolutely. And I, th I think you probably used a lot of that insight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you taught me a, a lot of business. You, you both gave me, like, I feel like I have a business degree hmm. from the things you guys have taught me. Wow, well, okay, we've made all the mistakes. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. I it's because we now, now you <laughs> got a new competitor on your hands. Right? <laughs> young upstarts, they're sm they're 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 leaner, they're smarter, they're faster, they're younger. Yeah, you know what's weird about being on this podcast? What is uh, so we we've sort of made an effort not to like swear as much on Game Grumps, um, just as like a challenge, and also just because like whatever YouTube, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it's been fine. We've, you know, we've sort of found new 
avenues of coming up with comedy and it's been sort of a, a, a nice muscle to flex but like coming on here where you guys are swearing like sailors and like oh yeah it used to be like this <laughs> well the thing is like i don't even notice that we're swearing i think we just do it which is bad because oh, yes. I, I use fuck as a connecting word. oh yeah it's just when time it's just time filling uh, yeah like you can, I, the first thing we talked about was our shit in our assholes so. i said uh i said fuck around my 14 year old nephew during thanksgiving it, it felt weird because you Did don't look you, at you like <gasps> Nah, he's fourteen. He knows shit. But it, it really wasn't. Yeah, he plays Fortnite. Yeah, for real. Like, but my mom was a. Like, but you don't. You know, you don't realize how much you're doing it until you. You. You, you know, re- reality, normal situations. Like, oh. Oh damn, yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta like, clean when I go up. around family I haven't seen in a while, or like, uh, it's terrible. I remember once I met met a girlfriend's parents, and I was like, should not have just said that. <laughs> oh, I, I remember when I did uh, this. Me and my family, on my mom's side, we'll take like my grandmother and my aunt, and my cousins, and we all go to like we all fork in money to rent this kind of just chill beach house and have like a week long family vacation there. And I was like playing overwatch at one time, my grandmother and aunt were right next to me and they're like very Christian. And I just remember out of reflex, I was like, Jesus Christ, God damn it. And all of a sudden, like I heard like my, aunt, well, that's worse than the Brian. And I was like, whoops, sorry. I, was, I was just into it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm an adult. <laughs> At this point, my mom is, you know, she she watches Super Mega. She's been watching Super Mega, and she she knows the. And she visited for Thanksgiving, and, and my mom swore like a sailor around me. So I, we're on like a new level. So I felt very good, but the, I cannot say God damn it around her or Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah, the one that it's those me. are the ones that I forget. I can say that fuck, like I'll I can say, say it. whatever, but if I say I'm like ah oh, God damn, she's like Matthew. Yeah. It's one of those things like where like that. everyone will be talking around the dinner table at family, and if I accidentally bust out like a Jesus Christ, like it'll get silent, and my mom's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> "Yeah, I got." There's a couple people in my life that are like that too, and I I just got into the habit of just going, "Ka." Like, <laughs> yeah. Just don't say the rest. Yeah. yeah. Just, Gah! <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Short for I'm gonna have to. Steal it is. Yeah. That Jesus that short for actually, Jesus. It's actually innovative. God. Yeah. Yeah, you just ah, when you hear you catch yourself saying it, because then it just sounds like yeah, you're just making an exclamation. I didn't know Jesus was short for Jesus. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's probably like a, a, a cool name. You know, about yo, it's the G. <laughs> yo, it's the G. Kind yo, he's back for a third time. <laughs> <laughs> the third coming. He hasn't yeah, done the second one yet, bro. He came back that one time. God, well, the third day he rose like, from the dead. But that's like the first coming. Oh, the first coming. Yeah, it's. Well, I the, feel like the first coming is him being born. I guess there's probably an official term for yeah. this, and Christians are like, no, nah, well, that's the, the second, first one. But yeah, four years of Catholic high school yeah. failing me right now. When he rose from the dead, that wasn't a coming, that was a leaving, because then he went up to. Well, isn't that, but at that moment, it's the proof that he's the Messiah. So the Messiah has returned, right? So that's the first coming. Maybe? Okay. Question mark. Well, the second yeah. coming is. Is known as like the rapture. Wow, you guys actually lured us into a religion talk. You started saying you were to get us there, and that's where it is. Well, that's because <laughs> we talk about Christianity so much because we grew up Christian. Did you grow sure. up religious? Like, did you like? I, I grew up like Rick I grew up in California. Let me put so it this way: the but behind the that. orange curtain, yeah, yeah. it was conservative. I, I His was, religion was a little bit of you know what I'm saying. I was religious up until probably freshman year of college. Mm. Same. So I was like, like going to church. Did the, the, the communion I, I was, thing? I was falling out. Did of you do it communion? Because, uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah every week. Uh, but well, high school, I was big in high wait, school. Wait, you did communion every week? Different denominations do it. Some do it once. We a were month, Methodist. I did it like once a month. Mm. Yeah. So I was I was a uh, Anglican. So we would do it every week at the okay. service. They the Christian rock band would play and we'd go up and. You ever do the ashes thing? Yeah, on ashes. You know, Day. you know, because I, you know how I don't like putting on makeup or like you know even like the baseball like. Oh, me neither, man. Lines. I hate goop. Is that why you do it? You so and much I can connect. Hour and face and goop? <laughs> yeah, I hate it. That, well, that's why it's funny because I hate the shit out of it. Oh, we had we put Ryan and Clown makeup once for a sketch, and you were not happy with that. <laughs> it's I don't, I don't think it's a phobia. It's just something where I like even when it's just like a a, a girl with red bright red lipstick. Like I'm a bit kind of like mm. I've like, seen them deck girls in the face you've gone on dates <laughs> with. They show up in at the front door. And just, yeah, they got a full beat it's makeup a on, and you're like, take it off. Yeah. I'm not like that. I'm not like you got to take the makeup off. It is putrid. Before we go into the day, you're gonna go wash your face. <laughs> you look like a monster. No, like I'll put up with it if it's like if it's like oh oh wow they're 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 putting on what they want to. It's I have no say in it. But like at the same time, I'm not gonna rush in for a kiss. You know. Oh dang. Which which makes my mom kind of sad. That's like she a, puts on the red lipstick because she, she thinks that you know you're gonna kiss her. Yeah, yeah. it's like a DJ Khaled level of <laughs> of insight there. I'm the king. I don't go down on girls. Well, of course not. We don't either. Are you saying that I have to I have to put away my my fear of makeup just to kiss a girl? Mm-hmm. Why? 
Why do I you'll... have to concede? Because then you'll never I don't kiss let the, the woman. They don't have to concede. The man, no, the I'm man. saying they can wear the makeup. <laughs> I just don't have to kiss them if they're wearing makeup. I will not kiss. I we both not are not. Like we're both not conceding. We're both on an equal playing field. Yeah. Right so there's just no love. There's love when when that when that lipstick comes off. Mm, but you know, there's always the residual. Like there's always a little bit left, even no matter how hard you wipe. Oh. Well, for, for in a lot of cases, <laughs> we're talking I, about the buttholes. Yeah, a lot of circumstances. What, the thing that gets me the most is is eye stuff. So mascara, eyeliner. Like if I ever have to put on eyeliner, I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't. Because you that. put it on that like part that's yeah, like right. That you ever did part. anyone who does, does the tanning? I mean, it's California, and that, I've never tanned. That's a fun one because then like the next day, you know, I have white linen. Have and you stuff, gone tanning? It's just like a face mark. <laughs> like, have, you, have you been tanning? No, 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 no. But that spray tan stuff is just kind of. It's got okay. a weird smell when it's spray first put on. It's uh, like oh. we should do like deep orange spray tans for video. <laughs> okay. Like the type where like the goggle marks are still there. And, like, just go the, full no. Trump. Yeah. Just I might, I might have to. I might. We should, we should or just get orange. Markers and just do the whole thing. <laughs> okay. I hate I hate stuff around my eyes too because I guess when you put stuff on your eyes so often you get like a callus on your eyes, and so like you can wipe it off easier. But like if you don't do it often, then like when you w try to wipe the makeup off, it's super sensitive oh, it there, hurts. and then it just gets like scabby. I see people put contacts in. I, I wear glasses because can't I, do it. I can't I can't do that. I wish I could wear contacts because. There's so many times where it, it's like my glasses are dirty or it's like I'll be laying down on the couch watching a movie and it's like, oh, it's uncomfortable to have my glasses on. But if I take them off, I can't like everything's blurry. Mm. So I have to just like deal with it. You know, I can't do the contact. Do you guys ever get self-conscious with the mics here? Like, you, all three of you were just it, you have no concept of this mic in front of you right now, do you? I mean, I mean, there is a there is a level like, you know. Uh, kind of like when you live stream or like when you're doing a live show, you know what you're yeah. saying. You switch into a mode. You can you can turn off the things that you would say if you're just around like just the gamer no mics. lingo. Yeah. I just suddenly became ha aware of how close it was, yeah. and I'm afraid I'm going to sound like like James Gandolfini style. You know when he's no, used to actually, the Sopranos, actually just the like, distance you're at will sound fine. If sometimes we get real up on the mic, yeah, and yeah, get yeah. The bass in your voice because well, you, you, you and I have to be up on like, on the shores. Like the, even the way that you have it right now isn't like the way that I you should, my, my it should be, but. These are great. Well, it's got to be straight on. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to, I got to have mine sideways because it kept falling off the table. Well, when we get this new, this new wonderful table that's going to be right here, we'll, we'll be able to clamp them on easier. We'll send Jackson out to go. Uh, <laughs> Jackson needs a good idea. If he, if he knows what's good for him. If he knows what, if he wants his paycheck this month, we never, we actually have never paid a single employee. It's a, it's like a, it's like a pension type thing where it's like keep working and you'll get it. Mm -hmm. The target working for the working for the company store. I get it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I saw him sleeping on the couches. Yeah. that's what you guys showering did. in the tent. Yeah, glad the, uh, glad you sink. glad you learned a little bit about it. You know, it, that check's still coming. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm wait. I'm, I'm waiting with bated breath. Yeah, it'll get there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, proud of you guys. Oh wow. Thank you, Brent. I'm Thank proud you. of you. I mean, you guys are fucking. <laughs> it seems like <laughs> Brent's face right there was just like. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't take compliments well. That's a, that's, you guys know it's a known fact. Brent, you look very nice today. Uh, I, you know, I comb the beard for you. Oh, just a little, you know. I knew it was Spray good some you. Febreze. Yeah. <laughs> little Axe um, body spray. Yeah, but no, but like, I, I mean, we've said this many times when you guys haven't been on the podcast or something, uh, but like, we cannot express enough gratitude for, you know, everything we learned from you guys. And, you guys and killed the it. the support you guys gave us. You guys killed it. Say, say the second line. Um, and and uh, and all the advice you gave us and the and the friendship you shared over the years will it always would. be blind. Your your eyes are not as bad as you be, think. And I will always be grateful. And I will always be grateful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, thank you guys. No, man, it, you guys killed it. You were team players through and through. I mean, a little rough around the edges once in a while. Once in a while. That's what makes us <laughs> us. And you love us just the way we are, right? Um, Coming in late to work. <laughs> can we editing mistakes and all. <laughs> And before we leave, can we can we address the penis in the room? Yours. And by the way, thank you for all the super mega fans who show the love on my Instagram. I really appreciate that. As my mom is well, asking should, me, so what's this about? <laughs> well, it should be benefiting your love life. You have to have a nice smelling penis. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree with that. We're, we're simply trying to help. That's what we're trying to do from the beginning because it seems like I always saw it that way. That exactly. Because here's the thing: if if I have terrible bo every day. I, I would 100% as a friend tell you. Tell me, right? Mm -hmm. that also, I might get used but by the way, that notice. implies that you smell my penis there. You were smelling my penis every day when we were in the office together. Remember well, the it's times? from the distance that we were at, we could just smell that you were in the office. <laughs> yeah, the radius was large. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I can attest to that. Thank you. There, there was actually a news story recently about a, uh, like a Florida prison guard uh, who, the big scandal about him, he, he did some bad stuff, but 
one of the one of the things was that his penis was described as incredibly smelly, and I can't tell you how many people DM that news article to me. It was like it was up Brent? on the subreddit, I Brent? think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people like I got one yesterday. Actually, someone said there was a, is this Brent? Is that a character in Dragon Ball, like Sapopovich or something? The guy with a smelly penis. Yeah, he would like he would like put his hand in his in his like he, all he wore was like like the Zangief Wait, underwear. Did he sniff his hand after? No, no, he would put his hand down there and then he would like throw it. <laughs> he would like he would like throw the stench. <laughs> I didn't know Dragon. Ball went like that. Yeah, it's, it's like Goku ball. like couldn't beat him because he smelled so bad. The, I, I, but I then remember. Krillin could beat him because Krillin didn't have a nose. Remember, I was creeped out by Boo. Just the thought of him turning people into like was it cookies or candy and like eating them or yeah. something. I remember that's oh, I like which stayed is away now in, in 2019. A fetish. Yeah, four. <laughs> That's true. I have some. I've shown Ryan. I have some great four videos I've found. Well, you and I actually, by chance, ended up watching the same one of like uh, it was like the an- <laughs> of like the animation. Remember, like, of, uh, of like the the furry. Animation no, 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 no. Things. It's not the animation. Not that one. It's the one in real life where the guy's like a troll. And he's like, yeah. So, mm. so there's this one. And he like video. picks you up. I'm going to eat you. He puts, ah. his, he puts his camera under his car, and and he's in like a wrestling outfit, and he's bald and has no eyebrows. And he's, he's large and he, he stops up and he has fake camera shakes and goes, what a tasty little morsel. <laughs> and then he picks up the camera and goes, ah, and like, he's like, yeah. Do you know about this? Is this- no, but that sounds awesome. I'll show it to you after the podcast. I, I just imagined like, because you said we, we ended up watching the same video. I imagine you guys like in, in a stream together and then you and like, and like Ryan comments like, so hot. And then Matt's in the chat like, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, just, what? Ryan McGee? <laughs> Yep, loud and proud. What a Chris! What the? This was the best Christmas gift of all. Yeah, it man. Was getting to see my boys, Brent and Aaron. Ugh. You guys gotta when, when the office is set up, go, come back in. We want some like a big barbecue or something. Have everyone that like from the Grumps office and everyone that we know just kind of come in. Have like because there's a lot of space to just yeah. chill out there, chill in the back. Fuck yeah. Take, take the helicopter, the hot air balloon out yep. for, uh, for a spin. Not the hot yeah. air balloon. That's strictly super mega business. I mean, we can. No. Which of the jacuzzi? Look, I'm sorry. One of us use. has. One of us has. Sorry, Brent. One of us has to be. It has to be the kind of like the hardline one, you know, right? I do this in front of well, I'm just making. Sh- well, I don't want you to promise things to our guests that I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you fulfill. Well, we can talk about this afterwards, and I could. No, no, we're talking about it right now. It's not gonna hey, happen. Hey guys, I'm. I'm sorry. I. I didn't mean to. No, you can take a ride in the helicopter. That's fine. I'm just not okay with with the whole hot air balloon. We no. only have one, and it can easily pop. No, I get it. No, I. I totally get it. Don't I know worry. This is, I know. Worry I know exactly why you're doing this. It's the whole water slide thing. Because I let my friends come over anywhere here and go down the water slide. Thank you guys for coming to the... Well, t- fuck you. Well, thank you guys for seriously coming over, uh, surprising us for a good festive little podcast. Yeah, and, man. Uh, Hell yeah. Happy uh, holidays. We're actually going to legitimately talk as as human beings uh, after this podcast. So, uh, <laughs> like, 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 just friends? really lifting the, like, the curtain there. Like, like, like frenzies? Is that, yeah, we don't, we don't. Were we not talking? We don't speak our minds on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> we do. I, I just always feel like I'm in a podcast mode. Like, I'm like, I'm speaking into a mic. I like talking to people when there's no Mike involved. Oh, yeah. My dad's name is Mike, so don't get that confused with him. I love Mike, and whenever Mike's involved, I love it. But this Mike, no can do. I choose to monetize all my interactions, but, you know, <laughs> to each you, his you own. Just record, I'll, be, I'll be recording Can you this? start yeah. the Brent Pocket Podcast where you just leave your phone recording in your pocket as you have <laughs> conversations with every people? moment of your life. <laughs> Truman Show. Gonna restart Justin TV. Yeah. <laughs> Truman Show, but about Brent would be killer. <laughs> Oh, you know? God, how boring would that be? <laughs> that would not be boring at all. I'd have that thing on 24-7 when I'm falling asleep, just have a little Brent on in the background. long whiskey cigar session. Oh, is that you by the oh, fireplace. He's peanut butter? Oh, he's, 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 go around. He's, he's cooking meat. And uh, make sure we wish everyone a happy holidays. Absolutely. Matt, you begin. I want to give the big... Next, Aaron. <laughs> happy holidays. Brent? Uh, happy holidays. Love you guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.